Oh, the truth, what a bitter pill it can be to swallow. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It is Saturday, and it is the Sabbath day, and I have a very important message for the church today. Now, as always, I have to be moved by the Holy Spirit to come on here and deliver such a message as I'm going to deliver today. Now, I want you to understand one thing. I do not seek popularity. I know when I come on here and I deliver the truth, it doesn't set well. It's kind of a very hard pill to swallow with a lot of viewers, many that have contributed to my ministry, and I lose subscribers. I am not here for my own self-gain, popularity, or prosperity. And when I come on here and I deliver the truth, I know that it may come at a hefty price to those that I minister to on the streets in the real world away from YouTube. Many people that may have contributed generously to my ministry to the homeless, if they don't agree with the message, they will stop giving to the ministry. So I do so knowing that I may hurt my own walk with Yeshua by getting in the boat and casting out my net and being a fisher of men. But I am moved by the Holy Spirit to deliver a message. I'm ashamed of the church of Jesus Christ today. When I leave this format on YouTube and I go out and I minister on the streets, I'm ashamed and I do not advise them to go and get on the internet. Many will ask me, what other resources do I have for inspiration? And there was a time that I could tell them to go to YouTube. There are just many, many wonderful Christian channels that you can follow. But with what's going on today, I'm ashamed to even tell them that I have a YouTube channel. And most of the time, I don't. I do not mention YouTube at all for fear that they will somehow go to a library uh, to get warm and get on the internet and see what's taking place. The enemy has surrounded our camp right here on YouTube. I watched a video this morning by Brother Marcus, Fine Truth 88, and he puts it in perspective so well, so well. All right, I strongly suggest you watch this video. The video is titled, They Themselves Are The Sign. And it's from YouTuber Fine Truth 88 Marcus. What a precious, precious watchman on the wall. He is one of the very few remaining original watchmen that came out on YouTube and has been led to bring the truth. And at a hefty price, like myself, Look at the view count, 63 views. He has lost, like I have, over 90%, more than 90% of our subscribers because people do not want sound doctrine. They don't want to listen to the truth spoken of in the living word. And they themselves are the sign. They seek for a sign. And I have to agree. Have they themselves now become the sign? Find Truth 88, and I will put the link to this video below. I strongly urge that you listen to this amazing brother in Christ, a true watchman. Let me say once again, I'm ashamed of what's become of the church of Jesus Christ today. The truth has become bitter in the mouth of those that are following and chasing after a sign, that seek a sign. The truth has become a bitter pill, like bitter like wormwood in your mouth. The videos on YouTube that are going to get the most attention, the most thumbs up, the most subscribers, where all the attention 
is drawn to the person putting out that video. The light is shining on the man, on the person putting out the video. The spotlight is all on them. It's all about me. Look at me. Time Magazine did an article on me. I have been on all of these numerous talk radio programs. It's all about me. Let me tell you, it's not all about you. It's all about him. And he is the light of the world. The spotlight is on him. A living God. A God that is holy. This is his show. It's not our show. And all the attention, all the thousands and thousands of views are going to be on what is the next cataclysmic event of biblical proportions. The apocalypse is upon us. An asteroid is going to come crashing. There's going to be death. There's going to be destruction. Or the rapture is any second now. Any time now. Any second. That's where we are running. Our camp has been surrounded right here on YouTube by the enemy. Satan has infiltrated YouTube. All the attention. All the attention. All your focus is chasing after the next lying sign and wonder the rapture is any second any second of any day and blaspheming the name of a living God a holy and true God following people that say God farted or golden dung golden pe golden poo when we should be seeking after him we should be picking up our heavy cross and following him even though and believe me I have little strength but I want to watch for the signs but not be obsessed with the signs I know when I put out a video like this I'm gonna lose subscribers I'm gonna get a lot a lot of thumbs down because the Church of Jesus Christ today does not seek truth they seek after a sign Many that have given to my ministry, they think that now they don't want to hear the truth, so they think they're going to hurt me. I'm not on here for my own popularity, believe me, or I would be doing what the others on YouTube that seek glory, self-glorification, and, and seek prosperity. I know that I'm going to hurt the ministry that my father, Yahweh, led me to. To the poor and the tired and the hungry. But those that don't want to follow the truth. That at one time gave to my ministry. Now they think they're going to hurt me. You're not hurting me because I don't prosper from this ministry. You're hurting those in need. I don't seek your attention. I don't seek your view counts. I just want to bring you the truth. Lying signs and wonders. I'm going to do a video on this uh, later today. Talk about chasing after signs. Satan is a counterfeit. He counterfeits everything that Yahweh does. Lying signs and wonders and chasing after the signs rather than being obsessed with Jesus. In Michigan, where I'm from, 20 some minutes away from where I live, in Bloomfield, Michigan, is a woman, she's Arabic, she's Chaldean, but she is Christian, and she follows the Catholic teaching and Catholic doctrine, talking about Satan can pull off lying signs and wonders. Not everything you see, not everything someone brings you is of God. Not every prophecy, not every prophet on YouTube with a veil on their head is bringing you a word and a message and a warning from God. The word and the message has unspoken. spoken. The prophecies have been fulfilled in this book. This woman in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, a Chaldean, Arabic descent, who follows the Catholic teaching and doctrine, says that between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. every morning, the Virgin Mary speaks to her in, Arab, in uh, Aramaic, and her being Arabic, she understands the warnings coming from the Virgin Mary. Between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., the bewitching hour. There's more to that story, and I'll present that a little bit later.
Well, let's go to Matthew um, 16. And let me just begin at verse 4. Let's, what does Yeshua tell us? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet of Jonas. Let me take you to Mark 22, or Mark 13, verse 22, rather. For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible even, the very elect. Let me take you to... Um, 2 Peter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust. We are to watch for the signs when it comes to end time Bible prophecy. But we're not to obsess with the signs. We are to be obsessed head over heels madly in love with Jesus. Pick up his cross. Pick up that cross and follow him. And be fishers of men. Bring the good news and spread the good news. Now, let me take you to the book of Romans. Chapter 10, verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Talking to all my brothers and sisters who proclaim that they are born again, covered in the blood Christians, and they are saved. But we should confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. He's the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Are you confessing or are you ashamed of him? Are you chasing after every sign? The rapture is any second, any second. Any second I get to escape, I escape out of here. I'm tired. I have little strength and I want to go home as well. But when I wake up every morning and I have another day, I am thankful. Because I'm not chasing after the signs that I have one more day to confess with my mouth. Jesus and that precious gift of salvation and I know in my heart that on the third day he rose and I will not be ashamed I love you all I love you all I'm really growing growing weary I want to be proud of the church of Jesus Christ today church come out come out of this there is a falling away from the faith. Not that you no longer believe in a living God. That's not what is meant. Or that you no longer believe in Jesus. There is a falling away of the faith. And many are taking heed to seducing spirits. You still believe, but you're listening. You're not putting your trust in faith. You're not confessing with your mouth Jesus Christ. You're chasing signs. All right, devil, how many dislikes? I love you all. God bless.